the number of refugees in Lebanon, it's one out of every three people. And people ask us, I mean, why do you do literacy? Why do you do trauma healing? Why don't you just distribute the word of God? The parable of the sower talks about four types of lands uh, where the seed, the word of God lands in and or, or is, is there. And, and right now in the Middle East, we don't have the fourth type of land. We don't have the good soil anymore. All we have is, is a land full of thorns or a land full, that is rocky. And in the rocky land, we simply have to add more soil to the seed so that the seed can give fruit. And the thorny land, we simply have to help people remove the thorns in their lives and the, uh, and the difficulties in their lives so that that seed that we are trying to distribute would make would make sense in their lives. And if we're not there by the side of the church trying to serve these underprivileged communities, uh, we would become uh, <laughs> irrelevant for the church, actually. And so it's very important for us to see the landscape of the church, where they are going, what they are trying to, to achieve. When they see people's lives changed or behaviors change, that is more rewardable than anything else Bible Society can possibly do to its staff or volunteers. I can't ask for prayers other than uh, than to keep our staff safe and, and committed during these difficult times that we are going through as a country and as a region, obviously. We continue, we have not withered 1% during the crisis, thanks to Australia, thanks to our international supporters, thanks to uh, those who believe in our mission in Lebanon and around the world.